Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGJim007 and today we're looking at the Inventory Rollback Plus plugin. So this is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to save players inventory and roll back to it in the event that they are killed by a mob, the game glitches out or something similar happens. Now the great thing about this plugin compared to other ones is it can save multiple instances of inventories, not just the previous one. So we're going to show you how it works today and how to customize it. So first of all if we do for slash IRP and then help that's going to show us all the commands. Now make sure we do for slash IRP enable to make sure the plugin is in fact enabled. You can also disable it. And then what we can do is for slash IRP restore and then my username and then it's going to bring up a GUI. Now on the left it's going to show that I'm online now and what we can do is look at these categories. So deaths, joins, quits, world changes and forced saves. So those are the different segments that it will save your instances of your inventory and you can go back to any of them at any time. So if I were to click this one you can see it gives the time, death reason, the world and the coordinates and you can see that I was playing with some spiders and then I fell off something and there was more spiders and then you can click on these to see exactly what you had at the time that it occurred. So if I were to click one of the chests, for example this one, and then go down to the bottom, what we can do is restore the XP we had at that time, restore food, restore the health, restore ender chests, uh, that's currently empty, we can teleport to where it happened, so apparently the event happens over here. What we can do is actually overwrite our current inventory from the backup. So I've lost everything I just had, but we now have this one. And you can do this as many times as you want. So maybe I want to go back to this inventory and here we go. I've now got my armor and potions back. And that's how you'd roll back a player's inventory. You can see it's highly customizable and very handy depending on various situations that happen on your server. And then you can do four slash IRP force backup for all players um, and that just sets a, another instance that if something were to happen now that you can go back to that uh, inventory that they had. Now the final command is the reload command so if you change anything in the config file which is where we're heading now. So here we are in the SMPinit control panel and there's one folder and two YML files. Now in the folder this is going to contain more folders and it's going to save all the information about your health, items, etc. So you don't need to go into those but the main place you want to go is the config.yml. So up at the top here we obviously want it to be enabled and then what we have is the maximum amount of saves per user. So by default it's 10 for join and quit, 50 for death and then 10 for the other two. Now that seems quite a lot for me personally, I'd probably limit that to maybe uh, half of that or even lower, um, but you can change that depending on what you want for your server. Uh, you can have the number of lines visible shown with the backup, so up to five, and then we have the folder path where the data is saved, obviously don't mess around with that, and then you can even have a MySQL database saved with all this stuff if you want. And then down here we've got various sounds that will play when certain things get restored so that can help a player know that it has in fact been fixed. And then we have our time zone and time format that you can change if you really wanted to. And that's pretty much everything. You can look at the messages but this is just stuff that's going to pop up in chat so you don't really need to change that at all. And here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.20. There's some really good information on here. The developer has done a great job with this plugin. Here are all the permissions that you want to give to your staff members. And if you have any trouble, you can contact the developer over here. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.